that's all that matters, man. I've, one thing about hip hop or rap music, I feel that's not fair. I feel like people try to act like you have to be a young man to rap. That's that's so that, fucking whack. Dude. That always it's the wackest mentally, shit in the world, dude. Like it trips me up. Not gonna lie, it did, I'm 26 and yeah. it trips me up. It's whack. You know, like you know, like these artists, like oh man, y'all old. Sh- shut up, you're, you're young ass. Really? But dude, a, yeah, that's oh a yeah, no, that, that's that, a there's huge the ageism, the man. ageism, and for example, Megan Thee Stallion is blowing up. She's yeah. 24 years old. We'll see how longevity is her career is. But my point is, is like ageism in hip hop is a problem. Totally, like. Yeah, that's why I like Tech Nine too. They like try to push. But. They yeah, and no other genre of music. No, are you looked upon as like oh, okay, y'all gotta shut it down? I mean, I get. I don't know if it's a fear because you don't see like a fifty year old rapper. I mean, it's nothing wrong with that. You fifty years old, you still got life to talk about. As long as you're not talking about that shit when you was nineteen. Oh, so you have you more life to talk right. about right. at that point. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know. You, you, the, the evolution of a person at that point. Like I mean, you you can add. I listened to so Lil Kim just dropped the album uh, recently, and um, I was a Lil Kim fan. I mean, dude, and she's early forties. Yeah, yeah. Lil yeah. Kim's gotta be mid forties, mid forties, almost almost fifty. So she released the album, and I, I listened to some tracks and stuff, and I see the evolution. It's more like kind of singing, more melodies and stuff. You know, she still got bars and stuff like that. But it's like I'm sure her fan base is going to accept that. But I bet you these young artists, they're probably like, oh, man, fuck Lil' Kim, because she's old. Like, 45. She's 45 okay, years point, old. That's point, not point, old. Point you know what I'm case, saying? Yeah. That's not old. My my prime example uh, when it comes to, like, you know, the anti-ageist argument in the recording industry is someone like Bill Withers, who he didn't <laughs> blow up until he was 50 years yeah, old, and he toured yeah. for 15 years straight till he was 65. Yep. Yeah. So from 50 to 65, then he's done. And that... You know, ain't no sunshine. Right. Yeah, like that Cameron, is, yeah. Was a factory worker. And massive he was career. Massive yes. career. 50 yeah. to 65. Yeah. Like, yeah, something. You were literally a middle-aged man before you even started your yeah. career. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That, it like, gives me, like, hope, light, you know, totally. positivity to go on. But know? is it because that the world of hip-hop and, and rap uh, constantly changes? It updates so much, unlike other genres, that what's, what's new is old. And besides then, EDM, it's still one of the newest genres, right? I mean, I think because it is a very influential um, um, thing. You know what I'm saying? I can't think of a you know lack of a better word. I don't want to use the word thing, but it's so influential. You can you can control masses with music, and that's what they do. Medium, absolutely. So. They like to have their young artists that are impressionable, right. attractive. Um, Hi. Yeah. I am hot. Exactly. Gersh. Yeah. I don't understand. Okay. We're gonna cut like, that. We're gonna cut that, and we're gonna put it somewhere one day, and then years down the road, you're gonna look at that and go, "Oh when shit." When I start my budding political career, all of a sudden, oh, that's gonna be funny as hell. Gersh. Oh my gosh. Guys, I ran a comedy. Dude, are you trying to? Are you? Try to fucking Steven Giles me or the oh, fuck? Oh, dude, that? I'm definitely gonna cancel culture. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we talked about uh, you're gonna cancel culture me. Come cancel on, culture. man. Hashtag uh, cancel culture. Man, fuck that noise, bro. Um, so we can't use no. the F word. We're good. All right. Oh yeah. Oh no, you can swear. Fantastic. Yeah, you can use the F word. You're like, oh, thank God, he just said fuck. You, <laughs> you can you can fucking swear as much as you fucking like on this fucking podcast. You fuckity fuck. That's what I like. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Is you what, fuck. <laughs> but okay, but like that's why I don't really get. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's a question. Yes, we're talking about the image mm-hmm. and the youngness. Mm-hmm. I don't really get the Nicki Minaj and the Cardi B. Sex sales done. Is that it? Sex. That's is it. that all that's it is? Because yeah. I listen to when, them and all. I want to shove pencils all. in my ears. But that's in everything, though. That's everything, Jay. 